Hey, and we're back with another episode of Before You Buy, that show where we give you some straight up gameplay and our first impressions of the latest games releasing. And today, we're taking a quick look at Destiny 2 Lightfall. It's out and it's a big deal. A lot of people still play Destiny and this is a big update. This is the technically seventh expansion in Destiny 2, Bungie's long running, endless first person shooter. It's come a long way uh, from releasing in 2017 under Activision, where it seemed fun, if a little half-baked at launch, but people stuck with it and Bungie stuck with it and it only got better and better. Uh, from a weird Activision games as a service type game to a fully independent Bungie project that found its own identity and community and got tons of content to it now having better account progression and ways to play on more platforms, including next gen, Destiny 2 seems like it's been through a hell of a lot and it's come out the other side way better. Uh, you might not be a Destiny person, and uh, we will admit here at Game Ranks, all of us fell off a long time ago at different points. So, full disclosure, if you're a hardcore Destiny person, do not watch this video or you will be mad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, you're, you're already playing it anyway. So, just consider this an overview for other interested parties. Uh, just a bit of a peek at what's new and some first impressions and some gameplay. You know, like I say in the intro. Maybe you have a friend who loves Destiny and you're like, oh, what's this about? Or you're trying to get into it. I don't know. Let's talk Lightfall. This is the big new expansion and technically I believe the penultimate chapter in what is apparently going to be like the end all be all of a story or something. You get a good amount of stuff and big changes with it. Starting off with a full new campaign with new missions and quests and a new destination, Neomuna, uh, the capital city of Neptune. This enough all makes it feel like a big new thing to play through. Neomuna brings a massive cool neon city at your fingertips to go on patrol, zip around, do vendor stuff, get stuff, and kill bad guys. It's a city, so there's a lot of verticality to it, and it's really different from what we've seen in Destiny. Fall damage is reduced, so that helps, but there's also like a grappling hook, which kind of honestly just always makes things more fun in any game. I'm biased, I'm just pro grappling hook. Uh, but that does lead to the new subclass, Strand. Uh, this is kind of like a green space magic thing, kind of like reaching through the great beyond. It's another manifestation of the darkness, like stasis. All classes can take advantage of it in ways, and uh, just kind of getting the rough introduction to it, it's really fun. The super is cool, and you have all these powerful green attacks, and Bungie did a really good job of integrating the pull grappling hook momentum into the gameplay flow. I found myself pulling off really cool stuff and just having a really good time, like yanking a dude towards me off a ledge, and as he falls, using the momentum to pull myself up in the air and then shoot more dudes. Just well-made, good shooting ability. Not something I like not something you wouldn't expect at this point really with destiny And I will say as much as I fell off destiny hard. I respect the fact that this is a well-made well-playing shooter uh, mechanically. I know Destiny fans argue about how Bungie does and changes certain things and then there are plenty of people who just don't want to play an endless live service game, but you gotta admit, it can be a ton of fun in the moment. I mean, Bungie is still a legendary developer for a reason. The feedback is good, the supers are thrilling and satisfying, giving you that little power fantasy just in the nick of time. You know, the weapons are exciting, uh, the satisfying pop when you get to headshot an enemy, it just never gets old. This is why people keep coming back, I think. The loop is satisfying and like we said, immediately started feeling that pull after playing for like 20 minutes. We were like, oh yeah, that's right, this is fun. Lightfall is just a good reminder. And the game is harder now, technically. Lightfall has a legendary difficulty mode with dark powers to unlock if you're nasty, but Bungie also just has notched the difficulty up in general. I think this makes sense, especially for most people who've been playing a while, because I mean, 
You've been playing this game for years. You're used to it. So yeah, maybe amp it up a bit. Uh, if you're coming in new, don't freak out. The game isn't like crushing or anything, but it is very challenging right from the early new campaign missions. So you do have to pay attention. Just be aware, especially be aware of like one of the new enemy types, the Tormentor. These bastards are really cool looking with some stunning abilities and they're mostly fun to fight because they keep you really moving. But they also have an ability where they suppress your super and they like grab you and you lose it completely. And it's just, it's really annoying. But hey, I don't know. I guess it keeps it on your toes. The overall threat is imposing. That grand scale, that epic scale from a Destiny main campaign is here. And right from the start, everyone is in peril. Uh, because of where we're coming from, we only know like half of what's going on. There's been a lot of story, but uh, you and Osiris end up on Neptune after a massive scale attack from Callus, uh, the big gross baddie. But uh, the, the real bad guy pulling all the strings is the Witness, who you get to see a good amount of here, and they're awesome. Whatever the hell they are, uh, they look really cool with this really, really unique design. The stuff is very impressive. They feel imposing, like an actual big existential threat to our heroes here. But a lot of it is focused on Callus being back and crazier and attacking this city with his Shadow Legion. And not only is Neomuna cool looking, but it also introduces you to these big Cloud Strider dudes who are kind of like Silver Surfers. It's dope, I don't know. Bungie goes wild with this game and just kind of makes a bunch of cool stuff does whatever they want, and when it hits, it hits. Now, jumping in after being dormant for a long time, uh, we loaded up an old character and we were caught up. Uh, we were able to open the director and just jump right to the new Lightfall campaign and just had to equip some more updated stuff as soon as we got it. I know the onboarding for new players is kind of not great, but I get the game has a million things in it after tons of years. Again, not an expert, but it is worth mentioning that they redid the new player experience uh, with Guardian ranks now. This is kind of intended to make the path of progression a bit more simplified, give you a bit of a guide, and that's whether you're new or experienced. But for people who've played here and there, I do wish there was a little bit of a better catch up, a cleaner one. I know there are tons of Destiny community content creators and good lore videos and recaps, but sometimes, I just want a good previously on type thing. There was a tiny little catch up, but only for the very recent events. But hey, it doesn't matter. Get in there and shoot bad guys and get loot, right? Uh, the game does give you plenty of goodies and new exotics and new designs and looks. And I gotta say, after so many years, there's a lot of good things to keep track of and work towards earning and ways to customize. There are like pages and pages of changes and things added to the game since the last time you may have played. So while on the surface, you're still just shooting bullet sponges with damage numbers until they pop, there's so much more under the hood and in menus and in the RPG-ness. And with Lightfall, there's a new raid to work towards. And of course, with all of this, a whole new season to come. Really, Bungie made a good shooter at its core and over many, many years invented and then refined ways to keep you coming back and keep you endlessly looting and shooting. And they monetized it in a way that I guess isn't totally predatory, at least to most, although there is some nuance there. You know, a more cynical player might not want anything to do with it. And believe me, I understand, but I feel this every time I jump back into this game. There's a reason why people are still playing it. It taps into that addictive nature of your brain. It's fun enough to really keep you going. And this video absolutely pales in comparison to what there is in this entire game. We barely scratched the surface. I'll say if you wanna get back in or start, this may not be the smoothest way in, but again, you're a consumer, you're an adult, you can probably figure it out. And it might be worth it for you because there's a lot of cool stuff. Most importantly, years of improvements and stuff built specifically on community feedback. And then yes, of course, the community of players behind this game. There are tons of resources at your disposal if you do want to waste your life away playing this. And I mean that with the utmost respect, damn it. Long story short, first impressions, the new campaign feels fresh. The subclass seems pretty wild. The story and the bad guys are intriguing. But honestly, who knows where it's going to go from here? Like I was saying before, it all comes down to the community. But hey, that's just a quick before you buy, just some, an overview, just some pros, some cons, and some personal opinion, really just getting some gameplay up there for you, for you guys to see. So let us know what you think. If you're a newcomer, let us know if you're jumping in. Uh, if you're an old Destiny fan or if you've been playing, let us know what we missed because honestly, there's a lot to this. Either way, if you just enjoyed a quick overview, clicking the like button helps us out. We would really appreciate that. And if you're new, maybe consider subscribing because we put out videos every single day. Either way, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.